Grade 4 Math, number 70. Add common denominator mixed numbers and regroup or rename them. We've been talking about mixed numbers. Remember, it's a whole number with a fraction, like 1 and a half or 3 and 2 fourths. It's a whole number that has a fraction with it, and it's a mixed number. Okay? So remember, the numerator is the top, the denominator is the bottom, and we're going to talk about adding mixed numbers that have the same denominator. We can regroup them to add or subtract them. One and a half becomes two halves plus one half because two halves is one whole. When you have two parts of something that's split into two parts, you've got the whole thing. Two halves plus one half is three halves. See? Two and three fifths is five fifths plus five fifths plus three fifths. That would be five plus five plus three is thirteen fifths. See? And then we can split back into two and three fifths. We can also add two mixed numbers together and regroup their fractions. Okay? So, if you have one and a half plus one and a half, you have a whole one, see? And another whole one. And then you have a half and a half. 1 plus 1 plus half plus half. 1 plus 1 is 2, and half plus half is 1. That gives us 3. 1 and a half plus 1 and a half is 3. All right, let's see what Emma and Tyler are doing. Emma has 1 and 2 thirds pies right here, and Tala has 2 and 1 third pies. How many pies do they have together? 1 plus 1 and 2 thirds plus 2 and 1 third. When we add them together, we add the two-thirds plus the one-third right here, and we get three-thirds. We add the two and the one together, and we get three. Well, we know that three parts of something split into three parts is the whole thing. So three and a three-thirds is a four. See? It would also be like saying Emma has one, two, three, four, five thirds, and Tala has three, four, five, six, seven thirds. See? Emma has five thirds and Tala has seven thirds. Can you see that? She has seven red pieces and she has five red pieces. When you add the five and the seven together, you get twelve. 3 goes into 12 four times, so this improper fraction becomes 4 whole. See? Remember that when the fraction has a larger numerator than denominator, it's called an improper fraction. Okay? All right, so that's improper. So, let's look at this. This looks more like a regular math addition problem. To solve this, you add the fractions first, you regroup them, and then you add the whole number second, and then we simplify it, okay? So if we have one six and we want to add three six, how many six would we have? One and three is four. One and three is four. We have four and four six. Now this four six can be simplified, can't it? What factor can go into both 4 and 6. How about a 2? If we divide, whoops, I'm making a mess here. Boy, is that a wet marker? If we divide both of these by 2, we can make the fraction smaller. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 6 divided by 2 is 3. So our answer then becomes 4 and 2 thirds. See that? Let's try this one. Let's add the fractions. We have 3 fifths and 4 fifths. Well, 3 and 4, 3 plus 4 is 7. That's going to give us 7 fifths. Out of the 7 fifths, can we get a 5 fifths, a whole? Yeah, we can, can't we? And then what would that leave? That would leave two-fifths, right? So we can either regroup this five-fifths to this side right now as one whole and make this two-fifths 
and then add 7 plus 1 is 8, 9, 10, and get 10 and 2 fifths. Or, if we want to, we can do this. Boy, that is a wet marker, isn't it? We can do 7 fifths, not carry it over if that's easier for you, and make that 9, and now simplify it. 9 and 7 fifths is equal to 9 plus 5 fifths plus 2 fifths, right? Because there's a 5 fifths in there, which would then be 10 and 2 fifths. Okay? If it's easier for you to break it up right away and carry it over, then go ahead and do that. What's important is you get the right answer, okay? And that you understand that this contains a whole one. There's a five-fifths hiding in there, okay? Let's try this one. One and three-eighths, my one's a little big, one and three-eighths plus two and seven-eighths. So let's add the three-eighths to the seven-eighths. Seven and three is ten. So that gives us ten-eighths, and our whole number is three. One plus two is three. Do you see the whole one hiding in this improper fraction? Is there an eight-eighths in there? So what we end up getting is 3 plus 8 eighths plus, how many is left over after we take the eighth eighths away? 8, 9, 10. There's a 2 eighths, right? We add these together. This is one whole, 8 eighths, right? 3 and 8 eighths is a 4, and we have 2 eighths. And this actually can be simplified more. If we divide the 2 and the 8 by 2, 2 divided by 2 is 1, 8 divided by 2 is 4, we would get 4 and 1 fourth. See? Did you catch how I did that? If you stop right here, you're not going to have the right answer because it's not simplified. Okay? The answer is not a 3, it's a 4. And it's a 4 and 1 fourth because even here, at 4 and 2 eighths, it's not simplified and it could be marked wrong. Let's try this one. We've got 9 twelfths and 5 twelfths. What's 9 plus 5? 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14. It would be 14 twelfths. I can already see the 12 twelfths hiding in there. 6 plus 4 is 10. Let's rename and regroup. We've got to pull that 12 twelfths out of there. So now we've got a 10 plus a 12 twelfths plus what? What's left over after we pull the 12 twelfths out? A 2 twelfths, right? That means we have 10, 11, and 2 twelfths. But it's not simplified. These are both even numbers. And 2 can go into both of them. So... If we divided the 2 by 2 and the 12 by 2, what would we get? 2 divided by 2 is 1, 12 divided by 2 is 6. We would end up with 11 and 1, 6 as our final answer. So there's a lot to do when you add these mixed numbers. It's not hard. It's just long. So you just smile and do the long problem. It's not that big of a deal. It would be a lot worse if the problem was hard to do and long. Thank goodness it's easier and long. So, once you get doing these a lot, it'll become easier and easier and quicker and quicker, and you'll be able to just look at a number like this and flip it right away into the four and one-fourth. Practice. Perfect practice makes perfect. Okay? I'll see you next video. We're going to talk about subtracting common denominator mixed numbers and regrouping or renaming them. I hope I see you there. Bye.